there, just trying to hide from us, very close to the road. Hello there. Uh, that is wonderful. Not often you get to see one during the day. They're very secretive and they do hide in the thickets or in the scrub, hence the name scrub hare. That's interesting. Is that a big tick on its back? Oh, that's hectic. <laughs> It does look like a big tick on the back of that scrub here. So even these little creatures do get ticks. Especially these little rabbits. Oh, well, no, sorry, <laughs> it's not a rabbit. Especially these little hairs. I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> it's not, sorry, it's a hair. It's not a rabbit. Um, <laughs> The, even these little hares who live in thickets, um, obviously they would pick up quite a few ticks and fleas. <laughs> now, I made a joke about <laughs> rabbits and hares, but the difference is, now, the rabbits... And this is quite interesting, but uh, so two main differences between rabbits and hares. So um, the hares, like this scrub hare over here, live out in thickets and in, in scrub. And also when they give birth to the young, they are born precocial, which means they are able to move around very soon after birth, just like a good example would be the impala lambs. Very soon after birth, they're able to stand up, walk around, eyes open, ears covered in fur, and they can move around and keep up with the females. Um, same with the scrub hares. The young are born precocial. However, rabbits, they live in holes in the ground, in warrens, and also when they give birth, they give birth to young which are altricial, which means completely helpless, blind, hairless, and they rely completely on the adults to survive. Another example of animals like that would be leopard or lion cubs. When they are born, they are altricial, completely helpless. So that's the two main differences between scrub hares or hares and rabbits. Wonderful. That's a very nice surprise.